We're at the site of where Al Capone's Four Deuces Club used to be, which were there. should have been right around here in this area across 2222 South Wabash. Looking towards Cermak. Wabash and Cermak. This is the site right there. Workers. New construction. Buildings that were here in the 1880s, early 1900s. Built. Looking north, down Wabash North. Coming up to 23rd Street on Wabash. The buildings were constructed mostly right after 1880s, right immediately after the Chicago Fire of 1871. These are the ones that are left right here, I believe. Some of them date back to that time. It's new construction. The old levy district of Chicago, the red light district, 1880s, all the way to the end of the 20s, beginning of the 30s. There's another old building over there. Some church back there. Another old street here. So let's walk down what it used to be part of the street at one time. It doesn't look like anybody's been doing anything here for a long time. Old sidewalk. Old factory. On 23rd. Just west of Wabash. Who knows, it could have been a place where they stored liquor in the 20s, Prohibition. This, according to reports, say this is the alley. Tour around Wabash Red Light District, trying to find Capone's uh, Four Deuces Club and Ancon and Cycle were here. This is the view looking east down 23rd Street from State. Factory building. Prohibition era. Alcohol. Storage facility. Dangerous area in the 1880s and throughout the 
30s and 40s. Twenty two forty one State South State Street. It's like an old building. Probably was around in that nineteen twenties. And this is the back part right here. Let's see if we get a look at anything to do with Al Capone's place. The four deuces. This is the back of the four deuces. This is the alley underneath the tracks. They used to get rid of the bodies from the back of the Four Deuces Club, from the men they used to kill in the trap they had down there. Coming through a door, kill you in between the hallway, and take you out the back door. I read reports that they had went back in there 20 years later after the 20s and they found doors filled with bullet holes and blood stains on the floor of the Four Deuces. This is the back of the auto place. This is looking down to where they're doing construction. Let's see what they're doing. This is the back. No way in there. But there are some, looks like there's some stuff there. Some stones. Part of the building. Construction here. There's, this is the back of the Four Deuces. Looking for State Street. The elevator right over it. I don't see no entrance to get in the back there to see what's up on the behind the property of the Four Deuces. But according to uh, documents that I read on the internet, there's still a lot of parts of the facade in the building there. So I'm trying to get me. A little memento from there, a little something historical. We're on Cermak now. Let's see. All these buildings on the right. On the south, on the south side of the street of Cermak, were actually the second, were the actually second buildings from the corner. All these buildings, it was a whole line of buildings torn down in the early 1900s to widen Cermak. So these addresses changed. That's why it's difficult to make a location. But according to the records, also it says that the buildings were, I think. 59 feet in width and 159 in length from that measurements they could determine this is the back part this would have been like the alley part where they would have exited through the, through the alley and give persons one way ride or dump them off after they killed them original buildings were right here all lined up this way. This would have been the corner buildings all the way down until they widened Cermak. toward right now they replaced uh, Al Capone's hotel the Lexington Hotel there we go from all the way back around Cermak and Wabash southwest corner what we got from the original White Castle Something back there. Whole rows of 
buildings. First ones. This is an old one right here. Look how small it is. There you go, it's the Chicago landmark. from Cermak looking south to the construction site of the Four Deuces and the other buildings, the sites of the other buildings that used to be part of the old levee district, 1880s and 1930s of Chicago. Looking west down 22nd. Thank you.